Um, today we're going to be talking about different applications that you can use on your cell phone or your mobile device um, that will aid in your self-care journey. So you guys can listen to me as much as you want um, through uh, YouTube, the podcast, or in the Facebook community. But I wanted to give you guys some uh, tangible apps and resources that you guys can rely on um, so that we are able to uh, grow in our self-care journey and stuff like that. So. My name is B. I am a certified self-love coach. I am super passionate about cultivating a movement of women who are self-loving, self-validating, and most of all, confident. So if that sounds like your speed, uh, you guys can find me here. You guys can find me on the podcast. You guys can find me on YouTube. And you guys can also join the Facebook community. And we're just going to go ahead and get started because I think you guys are going to love this topic today. Um, and make sure you guys have a pen and paper so that you guys can write down the app. Or if you have your phone, um, you guys can just pause the video uh, or pause the uh, episode and you can go right on to the applications and download them. Now most of these are found on Android as well as uh, iOS. So um, if you guys are using anything other than that, I don't know what to tell you, but these are really, really popular applications. And let me know if you guys use these applications or if you heard of them and um, if you're currently utilizing them. And even if there's one that I did not list, uh, let me know so that we can um, have a conversation because I'm always looking to grow and learn from you guys as well. So I'm gonna start with number one and number one is the Whoop app. Now this app is great for monitoring your sleep and we all know how important sleep is as it pertains to self-care. So you cannot call yourself a healthy person if you are not fully sleeping. There's so much uh, negative side effects from sleep deprivation. Um, so it is really important that you guys are monitoring your sleep and making sure that you're getting plenty of rest. So um, one thing about the Whoop app is that you can get daily sleep uh, recommendations. Um, you can also precisely track your sleeping every single night. And it has been validated by third party academic studies, verifying the excellent accuracy of sleep stages, sleep quality, efficiency, and more. So um, you can find the Whoop app on, um, you guys know how to download apps. So we're gonna go with number two, and number two is Talkspace. Um, Talkspace is a therapy resource. Um, and so you guys know I'm a huge prop uh, proponent of therapy. I feel like there are some things that even me as a coach, I cannot personally unpack with every single person. So um, it's really important that you guys are reaching out to professional resources so that you guys are able to unpack anything that uh, may come up as a result of inner childhood wounds or uh, abuse, trauma, whatever. Um, and sometimes trauma doesn't have to be uh, super outrageous. It could be little things that just you just can't get that out of your head. But Talkspace is the most convenient and affordable way to improve your mental health. You can actually get matched with a licensed therapist that is located in your state uh, from the comfort of your device so you don't have to leave your home because um, we all know that we are in the middle of a panorama and um, you guys can actually message and text uh, and even video and uh, if you're not comfortable with being on video you can always um, what is it call your therapist too um, through the phone and I personally use this before I'm just to be honest because we could sit up here and act like I'm perfect but I've actually had a, a moment in time uh, last year that um, I wanted to go through a period of therapy because I was going through a massive, massive, massive change in my life. So I have relied on um, a therapist and I actually used this um, resource myself. And I could say there were some moments, I was just laying in the bed because that's all I had the energy to do, but I was able to actually talk to my therapist, it was great. So number three, Headspace. Uh, this one is good for meditation. You guys know how important it is uh, for me to practice mindfulness. Um, and one part of mindfulness is meditation. So Headspace is a guide uh, to learn meditation and mindfulness skills. You can actually choose from hundreds of guided uh, meditations on everything from managing stress and everyday anxiety um, to even sleep and focusing um, on mind, body, and health. Now you can also look up YouTube videos and stuff like that. Um, but uh, the thing with YouTube videos is it can drain your battery. Um, sometimes you don't even want to have any kind of lights on, if depending on how you like your meditation space. I know for me, uh, I like just having the music only, and then I uh, like to do it in the dark so that I can completely focus. But I feel like it's great because you can actually uh, laser focus on the type of meditations that you want to do. And I love guided medica meditations because uh, you're able to really unpack some things um, that uh, some challenges that you may face. So number four, uh, we're uh, on journaling now. 
Um, now journaling uh, is one of the things that I try to do daily. Um, even if I don't physically write down, I use this app called Mood Path. Um, and Mood Path is actually a super easy mood tracker and journaling app um, to capture your mood. And it also helps improve uh, your thinking habits. Um, it empowers you to track your mood every single day over time. Um, and you can avoid uh, common thinking traps, develop perth of uh, perspectives associated with increased happiness and well-being too so um i like mood path personally because you're also able to zoom out and see like a grand scale like almost like a calendar view of your mood so you could see um if there's any patterns like on every sunday you feel a certain type of way because it's color coordinated it's a really really cool app so i would suggest you guys check that out um we're going to move to number five which is reading and learning um and the best app that i would say hands down for reading and learning um will probably be audible um and actually with audible i will have a, a code for you guys but there is a way that you guys can get uh your first 30 days free but audible we probably all know it's an online audiobook and podcast service that is owned by amazon which owns everything um they allow users to purchase and listen to and stream audiobooks and other forms of spoken word content. So if you're an auditory learner like I am, um, these are great tools for you guys to rely on. And there's hundreds, hundreds of hundreds of books, uh, whether you guys like uh, self-help books or marriage relationship books, or if you just want a good uh, fiction um, to kind of uh, dive into and get lost in, this is a great app for you guys to do it. And I will include a code uh, for you guys to uh, try it out uh, free for, I think it's free for 30 days and you get like your first two books free. Six, we are moving on to mindfulness, luminosity. Um, luminosity is a really interesting app, y'all. It is a cognitive training program. Um, and it's actually a fun, and uh, I think it's pretty interactive too. It's a cool way to kind of uh, train your brain and learn about how your mind works. So uh, you guys probably know one of my deep dark secrets was I originally was going to go to school, um, go to college for neuroscience. I always was fascinated with how the brain worked and all of that stuff. And luminosity is just a fun way for me to explore that topic. Um, you could play like all kind of brain training games and it's a good way for you to kind of um, get lost in the sauce and just you know kind of do something to distract yourself if you need a mental break so we're gonna move to number seven uh, number seven is grateful app and this is an amazing app it's also a form of journaling too but I would say this is a good app um, to practice your gratitude muscles y'all um you guys know that I practice gratitude at least once a day I try to do it twice but if I only do it once a day I'm cool with that I'm grateful for that um, this app is more of a gratitude journal um, and it's one of the best ways uh, to embrace positivity and experience happiness um, and you can look at your previous entries and they act almost as like positive affirmations too um, but there's so much uh, cool things about this app you guys I can go on and on but for the sake of this episode I'm gonna keep moving to number eight the motivation app uh, grateful quotes um, that is actually the full title of the app it's motivational motivation grateful quotes and this app actually sends you inspirational and motivational content um, as quotes every single day it actually you can uh, adjust the number of uh, categories you can um, say the type of content that you want to see as far as quotes go um, and if you want more than quotes it has a library full of stuff of sayings from prominent people it's a really cool app um, just to kind of uh, get a, a reminder during the day uh, and speaking of daily reminders every day there is one app that is super 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 helpful I know a lot of people who use it it is the I am app and this one would kind of encompass affirmations in general so I am um, sends out daily affirmations uh, and they help rewire your brain um, build your self-esteem self-confidence and also change negative thought um, and you can really empower yourself by verbally affirming uh, your dreams and ambitions so I love affirmations and I definitely love this app I feel like it's super super useful um, and you could choose from uh, a lot of daily uh, intentions, like if you want to focus on love, if you want to focus on money and abundance, it's all kind of stuff that you can choose from. But affirmations are great, but keep in mind that uh, the most powerful affirmations I find are the ones that you write for yourself. Um, and so number 10, hmm, I wonder what other app you can use. Oh, okay, Facebook. <laughs> um, so I would like to ex officially extend, if you guys are listening outside of the Facebook community, um, one of the apps that you can use is Facebook. And you can start by joining the Facebook community, Self Care Isn't Selfish, um, that is found in the groups tab under any Facebook mobile app. 
Um, and there you guys will have an invitation to do the self-care challenge. When you first join the group, you can also take the uh, self-care quiz to find out where you rank in self-care. Um, in addition to that, I would like to invite you guys, if you are finding that you're struggling with uh, being consistent, finding time, and even money or resources to practice self-care, I have a free workshop for you guys that you guys can do. And then if that's not enough, uh, you guys can pre-register for the uh, six-week boot camp. Um, I worked with a team of girls. We were able to completely transform um, in the six weeks of Selfish Boot Camp um, and making themselves the main characters of their lives. So I hope that uh, I kind of covered everything, but uh, that is all that I got on this topic, you guys. If you enjoyed up to this point, make sure to drop a purple heart to let me know that you are enjoying this content. And um, also leave a review with the purple heart too to let me know um, that you guys are, are finding value here. Um, and so, yeah, I try to respond to every single comment and everything. So uh, if I don't, just give me a couple days and I will. But uh, that is all that I got. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.